Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting from San Francisco for Geek Entertainment Television, and tonight we have a very special guest with us. We actually have the man who started Web 2.0. So, what does it feel like to have started the bubble, Stuart? It's very embarrassing. Very profoundly embarrassing. Tell me why it's so embarrassing, Stuart. Uh, it's probably not actually embarrassing. That was just the off-the-cuff answer. Uh, I'm not sure that I actually started the bubble. It's, I don't even know if Flickr started the bubble. Um, I think around the time of the Web 2.0 conference last year, uh, so October 2004, things had started and bubbling right about then. Uh, Six Apart got $10 million in financing, which is pretty significant. Um, and you know things were you know there's more VCs there than I had seen in any O'Reilly conference anyway in the few years prior. So so you're speaking as if the bubble is a real thing and as if it exists. Uh, I'd say it's a real thing and it exists. I mean, a lot of this the macroeconomic phenomena of venture capital is not my not my scene, but I do know that there's a lot of money around and a lot of companies getting you know raising three or five or eight million that probably don't really need that much money. Um, and it certainly inflates valuations for any acquirer or... Um, I'm sorry, I just, just don't doubt. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> we don't talk like that here at GETV. <laughs> you can talk about porn, porn. yeah. <laughs> or, um, let's see, what is it, I mean, how did you manage to start such a Web 2.0 company inside a Web 1.0 world? That's a ridiculous question, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, I think the, you know, to the extent the company ended up Web 2.0 is because of the people I had around me. Um, a lot of crack developers and a lot of people who had been on the web for, it sounds kind of odd to say that, but on the web for personal reasons since well before there was the first dot-com rush. What is the personal reason to be on the web? Uh, I think connecting with other people. I think a lot of, I mean, I know for myself and at least a couple of other people on the team, on the Flickr team, um, they were on the internet before there was a web, you know, used Usenet and talk and email and later on IRC and Gopher in the web. Because uh, you could find, you know, if you grew up in Podunk, Illinois or something like that, you could find like-minded people around the world. So how is Flickr going to deal with uh, all the nudity? and the booby shots and all that stuff? Uh, as far as Flickr is concerned, people can be nude. Did you hear that, people? You can be nude on Flickr. Well, no, you can be nude. <laughs> you can be nude, yes. period. Um, so what is, um, what is your favorite tag on Flickr? That's not easy. I'd say... Uh, uh, Weddings. Weddings. Uh, no weddings. Probably not weddings. Some that I like. Decay is a really nice one because it's a lot of like rusted out cars, broken down old urban buildings and stuff like that. Um, and sleeping, which I haven't checked in a long time, but sleeping and asleep used to be pets, babies, and drunk people. And those are a pretty nice juxtaposition when you watch a slideshow. I found a really good one. It's dirty hair. Dirty hair. And there are a lot of photos with it? Not a lot, but they're surprisingly good looking mm. not not in a good looking way but they're just interesting photos actually I took a picture of Katarina last night Katarina co-founder of Flickr uh, and also my wife um, and tagged it with emo mm. and then I clicked on the global collection of emo pictures and then from there to emo clusters and it was kind of kind of fucking awesome the emo clusters emo clusters are fucking awesome now what is this fashion statement you have here we are doing a fashion geek report so you know that pretty much uh, after this, everyone on Flickr is going to be wearing beads. Yeah, no, that was the idea. Is I don't actually like beads. I just wanted to see how many people. No, these are Katarina's beads, um, purchased in Rome on a recent vacation. You have vacations? I just got back from the first vacation I've had in about three and a half years, or something like that. First, I barely, you know, I take one weekend off a month basically, and so this is almost two weeks. And I did have my trio with me, so I was receiving and sending email in the Pantheon in Rome. So, so tonight when uh, I get home, I'm definitely going to look up beads on Flickr. And bead clusters. Bead clusters. 
are probably awesome. What's your last word for the future of the internet? That the future of the internet has no last word. And uh, good night, and we'll see you on the internet. This is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television.